I'm not sure who needs to hear this, but EA Sports, EA Games, is one of the most corrupt places that I ever had the unfortunate experience to deal with. Reason being, is as I was gracefully scouring the internet looking for great games to play to show content to my amazing subscribers who support me 100% through battles and through wars, I decided to go to EA Games onto the internet. And I decided that I would like to play Battlefield games. Nothing too crazy, nothing too, wow, I'm going out above and beyond and I'm going over the top. Simple Battlefield game. Any of them could have sufficed, could have worked. However, I noticed there was a sale going on, 50% discount. So the package was $30. So you could get as many games as you want on the EA Play and also use EA Play Plus for 10 days for $30 a year, which is about $2 something, $2.50 a month. Fantastic deal. Sounds like a deal of a lifetime, doesn't it? No. We were scammed, and I'll tell you why we were scammed, because as soon as I bought it, and as soon as I downloaded the app, and the mini app, and everything else that comes with it, made sure the drivers are up to date, the games would not download. It kept putting me in a spiral of checking and checking and checking. I said, fine, I'll go to my subscribers, I'll go to my IT technical friends and family, and I'll talk to them about it. So what I did, is we went to some Google links, yeah? And we picked up some HTML, some coding, that could help encrypt some of the files, could help secure the files, it would support the files, what the data needed, the coding needed. That still didn't work. And I thought to myself, if they're charging people a great deal, and none of the games actually work, then that is a form of a scam. Because it's very, very misleading. So I just want to warn you guys before you go out there spending your hard-earned cash to, to EA Games or EA whatever through Steam or through EA app itself or through the EA website that you're going to have a very hard time getting the games to work, if at all, to work. What I would recommend is not do it at all because you've listened to me first. Or you can do this. You can get a refund once you found out you've made the mistake that I did. And you can refund either through Steam, which is the best, easiest option. But if you have to go the hard option, which EA actually make it difficult, you can go to cancel the membership. And then whatever payment source you use, say PayPal, your debit card, credit card, gift card, whatever payment you made, you go to them and you request, hey, fraudulent activity. It's not what I thought it would be. It's not what we thought it would be. And we need to get it refunded. And you'll go through your bank or whoever financing person, transaction person you dealt with. That's the only way to kind of get your money back. Through EA, you cannot. I spent emails to them asking for a refund. Nothing. It's been two days now. Zero information back. So do not trust them. Do not trust EA. There's a reason that FIFA have discontinued working with EA Sports. And EA Sports is now making FC 2024 instead. Instead of the FIFA. Surprise that, isn't it? So, what a coincidence. I think not. I think EA are up to their no good things. And their games are okay. They're alright. If they, f if they work. If they work. That's the key, key word. Key words. If they work. <laughs> if you guys are new, you know what to do. Smash everything. Appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one.